this sunny summer afternoon, the rolling green hills of a lush Kansas field can make the frozen, barren landscape of Antarctica seem even farther than the distance on a map. But the successful test flight in the blustery August heat clears the way for groundbreaking research conducted by the University of Kansas at some of the most inhospitable places on the planet. This unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV, was developed by KU Center for Remote Sensing of Ice Sheets, or CRESIS, as part of a $19 million grant first awarded in 2005, with another $17 million in 2010, to continue research on the changing condition of the world's polar ice. The UAV provides researchers with an opportunity to gather three-dimensional data of ice sheets from a low-altitude vantage point. This large-scale unmanned aircraft was painstakingly constructed at the KU School of Engineering with oversight from aerospace engineering associate professor Rick Hale. He says the innovations of the aircraft come with challenges. It's risky. It, it's an advancement in the state of the art. There's no question about that. It's bringing Department of Defense technologies into pure science-based applications. Um, the, the payoffs exceed that mission because the same sorts of technologies we need to improve the next generation of air transportation are the ones we're developing to keep these aircraft airborne and, and safe to operate. All students with an interest have ample opportunity to get immersed. There are 17 undergraduate and graduate aerospace courses with ties to the project and there's always room for expansion. You have to think bigger now if you're trying to recruit because there's geologists and glaciologists and uh, journalists and English majors. There's lots of folks helping this. Uh, design students helping us with paint schemes that are visible, helping us with how to present this information to the general public. It, it, just about anybody can get involved. The aerospace experience at KU will ensure students are well trained and prepared to enter an important industry. The reality is that uh, transportation, air transportation, is one of the top three industries in this state. Uh, I guarantee you those folks are interested in uh, aircraft that are easier to operate, safer to operate. Uh, I guarantee you that their aircraft, which are currently certified for two pilots, they'd very much like to have a one pilot option. Sounds like the perfect icebreaker for a promising career. To learn more, go to creases.ku.edu. For the KU School of Engineering, I'm Cody Howard.